When people ask what an editor-in-chief does, I always say that we do a very little bit of a lot of different things. The print magazine, but also the website, our apps, anything that we do on TV, radio, events, books, the whole shebang. Cindy's schedule is packed every day, but especially during Fashion Week, she fits everything in in the minutes between everything else. Ten minutes at a show, five minutes in the car for reading, and then when she comes back to the office, we all pounce. I think that there is a bit of a misconception that Fashion Week is just a bunch of fancy people waltzing around in high heels. It is fabulous. It's glamorous. I'm the first to tell you that. But it's also real work. This is our moment to look at what they're showing, think about what does this mean for my reader. The reason we need to be at the shows is because we really need to see what the designer is creating for their whole entire look. It's not just what comes down the runway, but it is this entire atmosphere that they create through staging, through the music, through the looks. And then we translate that through our lens to put on the glamour pages for our readers. The hardest thing about Fashion Week is Cindy still has a full magazine to run, but when she's out at a million shows and she still has her family obligations, it's hard to get everything done. This New York week is the first of four weeks for my team. So there's New York, but it's immediately followed by London and then Milan and then Paris. And those are major shows. You can't miss them if you really want to understand what's going on. Do you ever do a count of how many shows you do every season? Sometimes. I once actually tried to tally it for my editor's letter mm -hmm. and it came to about 1,400. What? Not for one season, right, but, but for but all the years. But then I didn't want to say 1,400 because I felt like it made me sound like I was 100 years old. <laughs> I really like Philip, and you know what stood out to me about his collection this year was that it was really a lifestyle collection. But so much of Fashion Week looks like special occasion dressing. Fantastic if you're a celebrity and you have all those places to wear things, but if you have the life that most of us have, you know, you want something that spans the, the width of that. And I thought that Philip Lim just brought a really, you know, deft, stylish hand to great casual clothes. We're not seeing enough of that. During Fashion Week, there are going to be eight bajillion things that you wish you could go to and you can't. But you can't, so you have to pick what's important. First of all, I wanted to go salute all the amazing women who were in our 35 under 35 feature. I think that they said that they had 250 RSVPs. Oh my god. I think they only have capacity for like 80 people. It just says 285. Or 285, yeah. Tonight. 285 for 80 75 people. people is making me really anxious. Is someone down there right now? Yeah. Already? Yeah, they're all down there. Can you call Do down you and yeah. find out if it's already Definitely. crazy? Okay. For and sure. staff knows that they have to leave if it gets too crowded. I will communicate that too okay. to Jen and, and Leslie and Co. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, cool. Thanks. The Glamour Party venue can only hold about 75 people, max, I'm told, but at the moment we have 285 RSVPs. There's a small chance it could be an unmitigated disaster. Oh my god, it looks like a sex club. <laughs> Thank God, everybody did not show up at once. It's really important that Cindy show up at these industry parties. People want to spend five minutes with her, they want to have FaceTime. Glamour's publisher Bill Wackerman was throwing a party that night for a designer he's friendly with and so I wanted to be there to support him. And then lastly, the daily was having a dinner. What do you think? Are you sure you're going to be driving tomorrow morning? Can you make it, you think? Or no? <laughs> tomorrow in the morning is no snow in the morning. No, it says it's going to start at 6 in the morning. In the morning? That's what this says. Ah. Let me see what I can find on the Times. Next time on Fashion Week Ride Along. It's snowing in New York City, and by tonight, this storm is really going to start intensifying here. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes of Fashion Week Ride Along. <laughs>